I'm Ivan Zood. I am Clipper Guy for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. And welcome to our continuing series of educational videos and support for beauty and barber professionals. It is May, and of course, May is wedding season. And when we talk about wedding season, frequently people get very excited about the profitability associated with wedding party business. And I think you can make good money with wedding parties, even the groom side of wedding parties, because a lot of the focus tends to be on all that bride hair and makeup, but let's talk about my top five tips for successfully managing groom side wedding party business profit opportunities as a barber and hair professional. Got my top five tip list. Number one on the list, price by time, don't price by service or by the head. This becomes important because with wedding parties, we got bedlam. We got all kinds of craziness going on. Everybody's got that one cousin who never shows up for stuff after he says he will. Everybody's got family members that can be challenges and things like that. So price it out by time. If somebody says they got five men's haircut and style and face shave, figure out your timing, bill it by time. That's tip number one. Tip number two is include your travel time because any time it takes to get to the destination and get back from the destination is included in time that you spend. So tip number one is price it by time. Tip number two is include your travel time. Tip number three, which might have should have come before tip number two is go out. Do not do these services in your facility. Go to the hotel, go to the groom's room at the bridal facility, go to the little classroom in the basement of the church where the wedding is gonna be. Go out to provide these services if you can. Again, the reason for this is to optimize your time. It's also possible it will take more time than you thought you would. They might throw extra people into the mix. So you really wanna be able to do this off premise at the location where everyone is close where when they're not being served, they're not wandering off, they're not getting lost, they're not showing up late. You can control the situation better when you go out to a specific location. Tip number four is an important one, and that is to build a product gift into your pricing so that every individual that you service also gets a little goodie bag, a little take home. The reason for this is many times members of the wedding party don't live in the city where the wedding is located. There's no real opportunity for you to do ongoing business with them. So to some extent, the idea is in conjunction with the wedding experience, hit them good and hit them hard and hit them big. So build in a groom's home care kit for the rest of the wedding weekend for them to use on an ongoing basis as a little souvenir memento. It'll allow you to raise the price and make this a much more lucrative experience for you. Number five on the list is bounce backs. When and where we do have people who are local to your business, make sure they're getting a business card. Make sure they're getting an invitation to patronize your business after the wedding. They love this experience. Make sure they can extend that experience. So create within the wedding package program with the product you're giving and with the experience, some ways for them to know who you are, where you are, what you do, make it easy for them to patronize you post-wedding so that you get a little bit of extra business lift from the fact that you did it in the first place. Lastly on the list is trading for exposure. And the idea is this, maybe you're located in Indianapolis. I got a family wedding coming up in Indianapolis. No one lives in Indianapolis. My family lives in Chicago. Somebody else's family lives somewhere else. No one lives in Indianapolis. If you service my Indianapolis-based wedding, do you have the opportunity to serve these people again? Maybe not, but there may be other guests or other people associated with the experience that are local to that marketplace. So some form of exposure throughout the wedding on the bride's wedding website, thanks to Ivan's Barbershop for making our men look sharp. Anything in the form of exposure that allows you to leverage not just the five guys in the wedding party and not just the 15 people that make up the extended wedding party, but how do you access 200 guests? These are my top five tips and a bonus one for how to manage groom side wedding services. J-A-T-A-I dot net for Jatai Academy on the web. And don't forget to visit Jatai at the Premier Orlando show coming up the first weekend in June down in sunny Orlando, Florida. Clipper guy, Ivan, I'll be there with five classes. Jatai will be there with a booth on the floor. Come see me. Come see Jatai. Come expand and grow your business because that's what we're all about. Thanks for watching and have a great day.